Hi, Ms. Linehan's fourth grade class. My name is Emma and I am a student of Dr. Wee here at Winona State. I am um, going to school to be a future elementary school teacher. So just like Ms. Linehan, I want to teach kids like you guys. So I'm going to show you guys a book that I actually read when I was about fourth grade and I absolutely love this book. And I'm I was so excited to be able to um, buy it and read it again for this class. Um, it's called Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters by St John Steptoe and it is an African tale about two daughters. Um, the father is Mufaro and his two daughters, um, both um, Nyesha and um, Manyara, um, are both um, beautiful sisters and um, the queen, one of them wants to be a queen and it adds conflict to their relationship of being sisters and um, so um, in the book you'll find out, by the end you'll find out which sister becomes the queen of the land. Um, but I thought I would share a little piece of this book um, to hopefully get you intrigued to read this book if you haven't already. I remember being in fourth grade at library time and I was read this book and I loved it. The illustrations in this book are just awesome. Like they're so detailed, really great. See an owl there, they're really awesome. So I'm gonna jump in and share a little snippet of the story. Nyesha was sad that Manyara felt this way, but she ignored her sister's words and went about her chores. Nyesha kept a small plot of land on which she grew millet, sunflowers, yams, and vegetables. She always sang as she worked, and some said it was her singing that made her crops more bountiful than anyone else's. Do you guys ever sing when you work? Because I do. One day, Nyesha noticed a small garden snake resting beneath a yam vine. Good day, little Nyoka, she called to him. You are welcome here. You will keep away any creatures who might spoil my vegetables. She bent forward, gave the little snake a loving pat on the head, and then returned to her work. I would be scared if I saw a snake when I was working in the garden. From that day on, Nyoka was always at Nyesha's side when she tended her garden. It was said that she sang all the more sweetly when he was there. You can see in this picture right here, that's the snake's head that she's petting. Mufaro knew nothing of how Manyara treated Nyesha. Nyesha was too considerate of her father's feelings to complain and Manyara was always careful to behave herself when Mufaro was around. Early one morning, a messenger from the city arrived. The great king wanted a wife. The most worthy and beautiful daughters in the land are invited to appear before the king, and he will choose one to become queen, the messenger proclaimed. Mufaro called Manyara and Nyesha to him. It would be a great honor to have one of you chosen, he said. Prepare yourselves to journey to the city. I will call together all of our friends to make a wedding party. We will leave tomorrow as the sun rises. But, my father, Manyara said sweetly, it would be painful for either of us to leave you, even to be wife to the king. I know Nyesha would grieve to death if she were parted from you. I am strong. Send me to the city and let poor Nyesha be happy here with you. Mufaro beamed with pride. The king has asked for the most beautiful and worthy. No, Manyara, I cannot send you alone. Only a king can choose between two such worthy daughters. Both of you must go. So that's all I'm going to share because you have to read the story to find out the end. But yes, I love this story and I think you fourth graders would too. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys are all doing well and thanks for listening.